Hey YouTube, it's Miranda and it's Tommy and Bernie's last day visiting. So sad. That's the only, well, obviously the worst part about your long distance friends coming to visit is that they leave. <laughs> we have a little while before they leave today. So we are gonna redo some more furniture. If you remember from my last video redoing furniture, I painted it like this purple gray color and let's go in the sun. That's what it looks like. So I have these little heart tables. These are from my mom's house and um, I've had them a while. They're really dusty and I really haven't put them to use because I don't like how they like, I just want them to be like freshened up in a different color. So that's what we're gonna do. Just gonna start by sanding them down a little so the paint sticks. <laughs> We're moving to the shade of a tree. I never have like a rhyme or reason. I never take it that seriously when I redo my furniture because the best part is you can always just like sand it down and try again. This one can of paint did the table that I did in the last furniture redoing, and then these two tables. So that's pretty impressive. We thought we were gonna run out and have to run to the store, but just enough. So now I'm gonna let these dry, and then he says I have to wait 24 hours before putting before putting on the clear, but I'm too impatient. We're gonna put this on in like one hour. Before he leaves for the airport, this is going on. <laughs> okay, we just got back from a walk, and now Tommy's making lunch. He's making a, it's a Filipino dish, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. called, called adobo. Not the Hispanic version. Yes, he's specifying it's not the Hispanic version. This is a Filipino dish. So he's got onion and potatoes going, and you're adding in the chicken now? Mm -hmm. What else? Nothing yet? Um, some garlic. There's garlic in there? No, not yet. Oh, do you need yeah. the garlic? Yes. You have the garlic in the ice bucket. Yeah, you want that one? Yeah. Something I love about Tommy is that he calls the refrigerator an ice box because he's from Texas and he's cute. We're just bouncing all over the place. Now we're back outside because we're gonna put the clear coat on these tables. Okay, so here's the food. We've got white rice, just nothing else to it, just white rice, and then the adobo. And this is, like I said, chicken, potatoes, onion, bay leaf, what'd you put? Salt and pepper, soy sauce, and then vinegar? And garlic. And garlic, yes. So here's my bowl and we're gonna go taste test. He said that usually they use a different vinegar. Which one do you usually use? Um, like a cane vinegar. What's that mean? Like, like a Asian salt vinegar. Oh, uh, because we use just regular white vinegar and I guess they use a different one usually, but it's very good. They also used, we had low sodium soy sauce and they usually use full sodium <laughs> soy sauce. <laughs> but to me, it's very delicious. And he used chicken thighs, which I love because they're always so juicy. Delicious. We also make your pork. Oh, you make it with pork? Mm -hmm. What made you do chicken this time? Chicken thighs were there and on sale. Okay, so it's a little bit later and we actually just brought Tommy and Bernie to the airport. So sad, Ugh, I hate when it's time for friends to go. But at the same time, the past few days have almost been like, I'm away on vacation, so now I'm just like getting my house back together, preparing to get back to real life tomorrow, get some things done. I have some orders to make, and I've actually been trying to film my video. I can't speak. <laughs> I'm getting very tired. I've actually been trying to film my videos ahead of time so that like the, the video that gets posted that day is actually from previously, like the day before, a few days before, whatever the case is. And today I actually am filming the video that's going up tonight. So tomorrow I wanna try and pre-film some videos. I have some like more like um, planned out style videos that instead of it being like what I'm doing in the day, it'll be like talking about something or I actually have some videos from when I went to LA with my friends at the beginning of the year that I never posted so I wanna try and do like a sit down like, I'll start the video by saying that this is an old video from when I went to LA. I don't know if I'll do like a talk through it and then just share clips or if I'll like just preface it by saying these are old but I want to still share it and then just share the vlog. We'll see, stay tuned for that. But anyway, it's later, my friends left. I hope I get to see them really soon, I'm sure I will. We always try to see each other like a few times a year so. I wanna show you how the tables turned out so let me show you. So here's one, the little heart table and then there is 
is the other one. I have to tidy up. Like, I have those stools that I got at Goodwill a few months ago. I don't even know what I want to do with them yet. I just thought that they were cute. I might paint them the same color and, like, I don't really know yet. But then this one's over here and I have to tidy up behind it. I did have that table over here, but I thought that this looked cute here to like set a drink on and then we can pull that one around when we want to like have pizza on the couch or something. So, and then I always just keep this blanket on my couch so that my cats don't destroy my couch. So that's what's up there. I'm about to go take a nice relaxing bath and watch some Tim Tracker and then we'll see what we get up to the rest of the night. I think probably just like get some dinner, maybe Chipotle, because I don't feel like cooking. Tomorrow we'll get back into cooking. I feel like I need a cleanse. We've been eating so bad. I ate Oh my gosh, what did we even eat while they were here? We had pizza, Korean corn dogs, we went out for that place, Tao, it was like a Asian style. We had ice cream twice. <laughs> we cooked spring rolls, we made the adobo today, like, oh, we got muffins and donuts, oh my gosh, we've had so much delicious food, but not great food. My stomach is like, girl, back it up, let's get back into action here. <laughs> Sorry, this is a little sideways. I have nowhere else to put it. Why is my camera already dying? This battery must be done for. Um, we are now, I just got Chipotle through the Chipotle lane and Jordan's getting Moe's. This is a common routine for us because Jordan doesn't like Moe's. I like Moe's, but I prefer. Somehow everything just went horribly wrong. I got cut off by my camera because it died. And that's so frustrating. I need to like mark that this battery is done for because it's just getting on my last nerve then i tried to put my phone up on my vent with this and i snapped it so i guess i need a new phone holder i've had this one for a really long time it's gotten it's i've gotten my fair use out of it but anyway all i was saying was that this is a common routine for us that i get chipotle and he gets Moe's. but it works out if we get my chipotle first because i can snack on my chips and walk in the car mm. The line's looking a little long in there, so. My face is not looking amazing. I have a few spots on it. I need to stop touching it too. That's part of my problem, but I feel like I need to go on like a reset. Like, I know Chipotle is not super bad for you. It's full of vegetables and stuff, but starting tomorrow, I really want to go back on my, I really like to use, I know it's very controversial, but I really like to use my fitness pal to track calories, mostly because then I just know what I'm eating. It's like a mental no. I mark each thing. And I haven't found it to be bad for my mental health. I know a lot of people say that it like forces them into a bad mental state with food and get them, it gives them a bad relationship with food. I don't have that problem. It just makes me be mindful. Like, okay, I ate this for breakfast. Maybe I want something a little more balanced for dinner or, um, this was a very heavy meal. Try to have something that's more like what's the word high volume low calorie like it just helps me plan out my day and balance my food out better and I notice that I feel a lot better like when I wake up in the morning lately with everything we've been eating and lots of fried foods and stuff I wake up in the morning feeling so heavy my stomach feels like not well when I'm like keeping track of what I'm eating I wake up and I feel good sorry I don't know like where to I know the camera's right here but I'm used to looking at the screen on my camera when I'm vlogging so I keep looking at myself but then my eyes are not like at the camera so I don't know. Every time I, every time me and my mom hear sirens, we pray. And we just say, dear Lord, I hope that they're okay and that they get where they're going and get the help that they need and peace for their family, basically. Amen. That's what we say. Also, while I'm sitting here talking to you, I want to share a quote that my mom always tells me. I don't know where she got it from, but she always says, beginnings are scary, endings are sad, but it's the middle that means the most. And I'm feeling that today because... You know, not that it's scary that my friends were coming, but it's like a little bit like overwhelming, maybe causes some anxiety of like preparing for the room, making sure that you have everything they need. You want to like give them a good time coming up with things to show them. Like you don't want them to be bored. You want, you don't want them to feel like, I, I just want them, I just wanted them to feel welcome and have a good time. So, you know, just like thinking about that before they come. And then of course, when they're leaving, it's so sad. It sucks. Like your friends are leaving again and then you don't know when the, you'll see them again. Like I said, we do see each other a few times a year. So I know I will see them sooner than later, but it's still just like, ugh, now they're, what is it? 1500 miles away again, but it's the middle that means the most. And we had such a good time going to see Yale and trying some different restaurants and we went mini golfing and we had ice cream. I already listed all the food we ate, but we went on some walks. We went to the lake. Like We just had such a good time. We watched movies and it's just so nice to have that friend time, especially when they're usually so far away. 
to just like be in the same house and sit there and hang out together it's the best so that always helps me like if I'm feeling sad about an ending just like reminiscing on all the fun that we just had or with anything like it could even be with like going back to school like maybe you're sad about summer ending but you have to think about the beautiful fun-filled summer you just had and really hold on to those memories and then remember that the beginning of school going back can be a little like scary or overwhelming but it will create another beautiful middle hopefully with good memories and lots of good learning or whatever the case is. Someone's wearing a Monsters University hat in there and that's so cute. That reminds me of my college program because I feel like they had just come out during my Disney college program and everyone had a Monsters University hat and I didn't, I need to buy one. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now because I've been talking for like five minutes, so. <laughs> Home now for a cozy couch dinner and my bowl looks, wow, I didn't mean to poke it like that. <laughs> my bowl looks very good. I also have my assortment of sauces, the salad dressing, which is very full tonight. Sometimes they give like a drop of salad dressing, I swear. Guac, queso, and then the super hot salsa, which I use like four drops of, but. But with that, that's gonna be it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.